The interface of our interactive image-based modeling tool consists of an image viewer on the left and a 3D viewer for the reconstructed surface on the right. Both viewers are synchronized, such that the panning or zooming in the 2D viewer results in the same transformation in the 3D viewer. When the user navigates through the 3D scene, the 2D viewer always shows the best fitting input image, rotated and scaled according to the position of the virtual camera. The actual modeling takes place in the 2D view only. The 3D view merely helps to navigate in the image sequence and shows the recovered surface. To demonstrate our modeling tool, we have chosen an input sequence of a public statue taken with a handheld video camera. The images need to be calibrated, but are otherwise unmodified. In this case, the input sequence consists of slightly more than 300 images. We start modeling by selecting an image and by painting a region for which we want a surface patch to be reconstructed. The system then generates an initial surface that is projected into the input image. The user can adjust the initial surface position by dragging the projection in 2D. Once satisfied with the initial position, the actual reconstruction is started. After the initial patch has been recovered, we continue modeling by extending the reconstructed surface. This is done by painting either in the same image, in which case the surface is seamlessly enlarged, or in a different one, in which case the system generates a new surface patch. Whenever the user paints over an already recovered region, the known surface is used to initialize the position of the new patch. To identify recovered regions, they are rendered in blue over the input images. It is not necessary to precisely paint the foreground region of the images, since the surface will be continued in a different view. Only for regions where no additional images are available is it useful to extend the surface as far as possible. It is a good idea to paint the scene from front to back, because then the modeling system is able to exploit already recovered geometry for visibility determination. The main advantage of our system is the full control over the reconstruction it gives to the user. The user can, at any time during the process, choose which parts of the scene are to be reconstructed, and then gets immediate feedback for all interactions. At this point, we speed up the video by a factor of 10. Once the user is satisfied with the recovered patches, we use a standard technique to turn them into a closed and manifold surface. In addition, we generate textures from the user painted regions and assign them to the reconstructed mesh. The complete modeling, including all user interactions, took about 8 minutes for this example. We now show some results generated with our modeling tool.
Thanks for watching.